Oh, good morning. My friend, I'm very happy that you are evolving, progressing. by these simple principles and the practices. Let me take a topic that will surely interest you and will take you to the next level. It is all about our mind or intellect or ego, whatever you say. Mind, intellect, ego, memory. Huh? We use them differently. When the mind, just you uh, constant thinking, you are thinking not in a specific direction, the mind is swing, the, the thoughts, one thought, second thought, third thought, fourth thought. This is what we say, the mind. And when the same mind makes a decision, no, I will stick to this thought, it is an intellect. And then you work on that intellect, it becomes I. And sometime we retrieve the information. So I will use the term intellect for it to make you understand. So how we can make the intellect steady with wisdom so that the right knowledge lives in that intellect. So when the right knowledge lives in that intellect, we are free from anxiety, stress, duality, conflict, and we progress. The most important part of it, that it, if the intellect how long the intellect lives you? 24 by 7. The moment you wake up in the morning, it is the same mind and the intellect is constantly thinking and working. So now if that intellect is steady, what is that steady? The wealth in the intellect is there. What is that wealth? It is steady. It perceives the thing rightly. It thinks rightly. It uh, speaks rightly. And it acts rightly in all conditions, then what happens? We are happy. We are calm. No issue. No problem. Sanasi, good people do not, do not think of the good. If you are good through your intellect, everything becomes good. And if I am good, that I recognize in my intellect, and say, for example, your son enters, knocks the door. My intellect is good. So the perception of your son, whether good or bad, it belongs to him, not to you. You remain good. Did you understand that? So if we are good, everything becomes good. That is the teaching of our great masters. All the 3,000 teachers, 3,000 books, 6,000 years old tradition. Because that intellect gets contaminated by the world outside of the people, of the things, of the places. I become aware intellect is put into the service. Everything is gone. Sugar remains good, even if it is mixed with the salt, because still it, it is, remains sweet. It is not contaminated. It's all because of the mixture, or you mix the salt. 
the sugar does not change its quality that is the meaning of steady mind or the intellect intellect recognizes the goodness in you first recognizes what is that recognition cognition means to know and recognition <clears throat> means what you know that the intellect is not swayed by the outer condition people things in the society i'm taking up the little higher aspect so tell me what is that goodness that goodness is the knowledge of the real self knowledge is most important when 24 by 7 where all the time all locations what is knowing what is that knowledge where it takes place in the intellect that you are the real self even you think i am the real self then start you know, the way you think you know your name is different and you think i am the mother i am the father i'm the son i'm the daughter i'm a professional so now i am the real self What is real self? It is self-existent. What is self-existent? It exists without any support. It does not depend on anything in the world outside. That real self is pure consciousness. That is seated deep inside of a heart. It is different and separate from the body, mind, intellect, thinking, thoughts, feelings, sensation, everything. Say, for example, I say I am Michael. My mind instantly reminds me the Michael is a professional guy. Profession, this is his profession. Michael is, I remember the gender instantly without thinking. I know that. What is that? That is known as recognition. Do you recognize you are the real self, which is self-existent? Even you, so you start, oh, I'm the real self, I'm self-existent, self-evident. There is no one that needs any proof that I am the real self. I prove myself. I'm going a little bit at a subtler and advanced level. Now is the time has come. Self-luminous. So self-evident, I don't need proof of anyone that I exist, I know myself. Now, but how can you say, if there is a light, I see myself, I see my body. I don't see myself. There is a total darkness. You don't see anything and still you see yourself. Why? How? I'm aware of myself, even in the darkness. My sense organ does not see my body, so it is very clear I am not the body. So you remind yourself. You recall in the beginning. Why you recall? Because my intellect put has put the knowledge that I am this is my gender, this is my profession, this is my name, this is what I do. I had a lot of problem. I had the past, nothing doing. I'm the real self. Third point, when I'm the real self, I'm self-luminous. What is the meaning of self-luminous? You are real self. You are self-existent. You are self-evident. You are self-luminous. Ah, self-luminous. It's like sun. During the day, you don't 
show the candle light to see the sun why through the light of the sun i can see the sun through the light of the sun i can see you huh? see that so it is self luminous now think of that that my i am real self and the real self is self luminous means that self knows the self that i am pure consciousness full of peace and happiness love and with when the mind interferes everything is gone then we fall back into delusion into anxiety into duality into conflict we are going step no but uh, but how to know that real self by intellect so when this intellect has a wealth of wisdom and discernment i can see the real self why i can't see now there is some problem with the intellect the intellect is so much attached deviated conflict confused it has strong likes and dislikes that has if i say contaminated if i say polluted if i say habit if i say instinctive and impulsive reaction that must go then only i know myself in my intellect i know myself that i am so what we learned that the mind is constantly thinking because it is seeking something from outside when that seeking stops the thought stops thought stops the mind becomes clear like a transparent mirror there is no dirt and then i see myself in the intellect i find only one thing i am the real self i am the peace i am happiness i am love i am wisdom we have done lot of practices we experience the change we understood how to apply the principles in day to day life now the time is there to directly through the knowledge in the intellect let us find the real self so that we can live with that real self all the time like our mother teaches come on son and my darling my daughter here is your room here is your bag going to the school i love you mother says to the son or daughter same way the intellect is our mother when the intellect is clear or you can say mind is clear the same intellect says here is real self this is what the goodness is we recognize that goodness in us because we are essentially of the nature of real self what is that real self i am the peace i am the happiness i am love i am wisdom so the same intellect recognized by wisdom by discernment by separating what is good and what is not good in life in thought speech and action the real self we come to know now understand a little deeper aspect when we recognize in ourselves what is good when we recognize in the intellect knowledge of being good and knowledge of being good is always the real self so when that recognition lives in the intellect then you don't need good clothes why 
good people goodness makes every cloth good goodness in you you are good your goodness makes any every conversation good your goodness you are being good makes every action good you don't depend on anything outside so when you do not depend on anything outside mind is not craving for something expecting for something your son behaves in an untoward manner let it behave but you are you have found you have discovered that goodness in you real self where is that real self self existent self evident self luminous satyoham i am the truth bodhoham i am pure awareness premoham i am love i am knowledge i am peace i am happiness so your intellect 24 by 7 is aware that which does not exist that which appears to exist but do not exist and that which exist forever three things three divisions you can say that which does not exi- exist through the memories through fancies imagination delusion we create lot of things that do not exist my master used to give an example bandhya putra the women who cannot conceive has a son that which does not exist it cannot exist i know by fact this woman cannot conceive and still he has she has a son elephant in the sky so we create lot of imaginations let it let me bring your mind intellect down at the constant a uh, day to day thinking my son not listening to me mind triggers and then it recalls all the events when he did not listen to you how many times 100 times how many years 5 years now your mind is ready to react you have just thought of it now the mind has already created an impression of reaction and even if your son does the right thing in in a particular event you are your mind is already made it made up to react so we should live with our awareness continue doing the practice at the same time then start living with that wisdom oh that those thoughts are coming you drop it <clears throat> hold on i will think and speak and act with the goodness because i am the real self i am the peace and i am the happiness i am the love i am the wisdom finished every time So what is going to happen? Those past memories and the thoughts will never enter into your mind, and you start living a life that transcends all the anxiety, fears, duality, conflict. Second part: that which appears to exist but do not exist. 
every human being is wonderful, beautiful, full of wisdom. But why they do not live into it? Because their intellect is polluted, corrupted by wrong notion, error, errors in the intellect. Why? Because they are expecting peace and happiness from outside. So when I am expecting, there is a craving, there is a passion, there is a duality, there is a conflict. Their expectations are not met by the people. It is their look. That is what we say is mithya. The intellect must get rid of this intellect day to day from moment to moment. You look at the first son, how good. You look at the second son, how bad? Drop this good and bad. You have to be good. Let the goodness come out. That is what I have explained to you. That which appears to exist but do not exist means the sky is blue. There is no blueness in the sky. But still I see it. Now apply the same. You see both the son and daughters. All your, all your near and dear relatives. The mind has created an image about those people. Drop that image. Tell your mind, all are human beings. Wonderful, beautiful. But obviously you treat, you think and speak rightly. You give the right treatment. But internally, the mind is not invoking any reaction. Does the blueness of the sky invoke any reaction? No. But it invokes the right knowledge. The blueness of the sky does not exist. The badness in the people do not exist. They exist in appearance. Once they know their real nature, it is not. And now come to the real self, that which exists all the time. Exist means? Now, uh, in which category you put the wave that appears to exist but do not exist? So what exists is the water. The water is existence. I'm speaking to you, so that I'm a speaker. Speaker exists like a wave to the water. The speaker exists like huh? a wave to the water, speaker to the real self. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? I was born as an individual. Physically born. I grew up. So I became son to someone known as father. But still, I'm an individual. Gradually married son and daughter, I became the father, I was the son, I became the husband and a father and a son and a daughter and a professional, etc. Et they are outside, they are like the waves, I am the real self. That is the meaning of that exists forever. Father in me can die, mother in me can die, son in me can die. Now, am I the son? How can I prove that I am a son? Father has died long back. Mom has died long back. I use from the memory. So that real self. Pay attention. Listening to it again and again. I have to go move the mind back, 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 back. Then I see what is the truth. What is goodness? The moment I find that goodness, I change myself. To prove that I am good, I don't need to depend on anything outside. 
And the moment you want to prove that you are a good, you will fall into problem. This real self, our master says, never dies. It is not born. It is beyond the body, mind, intellect, ego. So when our intellect leaves worrying about birth and the death, never think about it, live your life fully. See another point. Sometimes we feel, we think, we conclude, oh, we will have a birth at a good place. Sometimes we feel our birth at, in this family, in this situation was terrible. Sometimes we may go to heaven or other time hell. But we are so good, right and good. When I recognize that real self that is good, always good, all time, all places, all near and dear ones, all siblings, all our kids become good. And that changes our life, that changes our thought, feeling, emotions. But the goal is to find that real self. So I have a knowledge of the real self installed in the intellect all the time. I'm talking about intellect. Uh, whether you say intellect, mind, ego, I thought, what we need? We need an intellect that follows the collective laws of the society. What is collective law of the society? How you can define what is good and right? When I am a mother, I perform my duty and done, finished. What is right and good as a father? I do my right and good. So I, I have to think, I have to keep my intellect clear. A son hurts you, what is right and good? As a mother to the son, I do it and I'm not influenced by what my son told me. Means you are keeping that intellect pure. It is very much practical. Look at those politicians. You see nasty articles about them. Even if they have done, <laughs> the politicians are not at all affected. They continue doing the same thing. But here, the here, the 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 idea, the knowledge is different. That I recognize I am good inside. First step. And now I am not influenced by the outer conditions, people and the things. I follow the collective laws of the society. I know what are the do's, what are the don'ts. Sun hurts you, sun does not know the collective law of the society. What is that law? The sun, as a sun, he should remember that the woman who is known as a mother can never be inserted, abused, reacted, 
but I know in the intellect, so put that knowledge in the intellect. I follow, this is the first level of the intellect, and for that we have to work on. Continue the practice, keep your intellect clear, beyond the dualities of likes and dislikes. Second type of the intellect is known as Viragya, dispassion intellect. Dispassion. Look at the water. The water, does the water send you the bill? No, I can drink the water. Does the space sends us the bill that why why the hell you are living in my space you send you have to pay this much does the earth send us the bill to live in the earth it is a it is a kind of dispassion dispassion so what is the opposite of dispassion attachment and detachment strong likes and dislikes when i start living with the strong likes and dislikes strong attachment and detachment I am bound to pollute my intellect and that intellect or the mind will keep one trillion thoughts or more than that, thoughts. It is due to non-thinking. I do not think what is right and good. Intellect can move to the right and good. Forget about likes and dislikes. Leave aside likes and dislikes, but check what is right and good. Here and now, living with your daughter, your son, your friends, your enemies. You see, why? Because my intellect should have a right knowledge. I must live with the intellect and the intellect must live with the right wealth. And the wealth is the wisdom. And that wisdom can be attained by discernment, by understanding. That is the second level of the intellect. The third level of the intellect is known as, huh? third level of the intellect goes beyond ignorance. It drops the ignorance, it dissolves the ignorance, it destroys the ignorance. But what is that ignorance? Not knowing my real self. That is why I started. Every day you remind, every moment you remind your mind, I am the real self. What is real self? Self-existent. Self-luminous. Self-evident. I am the peace. But I don't feel the peace. Some error in the intellect and the mind. Some error in perception, some false notion. These false notions, these errors are known as ignorance. When that intellect contains all the three levels of the wisdom, collective law, this passion, and about the real self, ignorance is not there. We have to develop, we have to cultivate, we have to discover that intellect which knows the real self all the time. All the time means we need to live with awareness, vigilance, and alertness day to day in all of our relationship at all the time. I do not allow the intellect or the mind fall to fall into unconsciousness, habit, past memory, thoughts, feelings, sensations, reactions, blame. Then I can realize what is the goodness in me. Once I realize the good, goodness in me, I will think, speak, and act in goodness.
after all, my friend. When we were born, we started crawling in the first time we, we are excited to stand up and walk. We fell down, we stood up, we fell down, we stood. That is the way the intellect needs to be developed. No doubt we will fall down, we realize, we drop the wrong notion, we stand up, we live in the wisdom. When we do it again and again, regularly, at every moment, we remove the impurity of the intellect and ultimately we start learning the way to live in peace and happiness, love and wisdom 24 by 7. Unwise, they don't use the intellect. They live with constant likes and dislikes, reaction and response, pain in the pleasure, sorrow in the happiness. They are swinging like a pendulum. And they have been living this kind of a life days after days, weeks after weeks, months after months, years after years, and then they die. So that they go to the next birth with the same. But if I start living with the wisdom, with all the three points I said, collective law, I, have to, I follow the collective so I have no problem. I go beyond the likes and dislikes, I have no problem. And now I know my real self, the third level of the intellect. Then what will happen? You will discover this real self is neither born nor dies. It has nothing to do with any action that is performed with a good intention becomes wrong. For example, so that mind, that intellect perceives the goodness first and allow that goodness to be expressed in the action without thinking that I am doing good. No ego. Then what happens? You remain in peace. So we have to evolve our intellect. No doubt, by regular practice, it takes place. It happens. It happens. But if we have to hasten the process, the knowledge of the real self, of the Eastern wisdom, must be installed. Why to be installed? You wake up in the morning and someday you see you are in a hurry, you skip the practice, but the knowledge is there in the intellect. So you live with that intellect. You don't allow the mind or the intellect to be swayed by ignorance, by a false notion. Why? From where they come? From the past impressions. So you have released all the past impressions. You don't have those wrong notions in your life. Now see what prevents your intellect or the mind. You don't recognize the goodness. What are the causes? You react in angry. Why it happens? Because we do not live into the knowledge and that intellect is not fully evolved and developed. We want and crave something with a force. When we crave, want something with a force, the intellect leaves the understanding of what is right and good. When the intellect leaves that understanding of what is right and good, it leaves what is just and unjust. 
Then what happens? All the error in the wrong notions returns into the intellect. And those wrong notions in the intellect takes an action. It becomes a reaction and I fall back. I lose my cool and calm. Say, for example, if you retrieve any past information that cannot be erased. So what? These are the, this is the first obstacle. We want and crave something by the force subconsciously, habitually. I recall some event in the past and I start, then my mind constantly creates a chain reaction, the chain series of the thoughts, and then I feel I'm gone. No, we have to drop this. The first problem in the intellect. Second problem in the intellect is, I am not satisfied. There is an utter unsatisfaction lives in my intellect. That, you know, that is what makes one person an addict. That is what makes a person reactive. I'm not, I'm unhappy with myself. So what is my goal to you? I will also make you unhappy. Why? So that you realize I'm unhappy, you are unhappy. There is no happiness in the world. That is how our mind works in day-to-day -day life. See that? If I'm unhappy, there is a discontentment. So I have to discover in the intellect. You start thinking of that, you know, I have a contentment. Do I have food, shelter and clothes? Yes. Am I working in a rightful and good manner? Yes. Do I think good of everyone? Yes. Do I see the goodness in me? This is what is contentment. Now introduce a thought opposite of that. What will happen? Discontentment. First barrier or an obstacle or a hindrance in creating that intellect which shows us the knowledge of the real self that the mind in intellect instantly starts craving for something, wanting something with a force. It divides the mind. You we leave just in what is just and unjust. Then the mind intellect habitually follows the action with the error, wrong notion, and that causes a lot of problems in our life. And the second is absence of contentment in me. You wake up in the morning. Is the breath going in and out? Is it not contentment? Am I still alive? Is it not contentment? Did I get the food of my choice? Is it not contentment? Did I drive my car today and return home? Is it not contentment? Did I have a sound sleep? Is it not contentment? We have forgotten. We don't want to be aware of ourselves. Our focus is on the things outside, people outside who did not give me peace and happiness. It will never happen. When the contentment becomes slave to anything outside, it is slavery. It is slavery. You are bound. It will give you a lot of problems. But when the contentment is inside, so the contentment should live in the intellect all the time. Why? Our goal is to self-discovery. 
what is that self the real self is self existent self luminous self evident huh? i told you before mind intellect or ego whatever you want to say huh? it is the same thing just pick up any word which you like second problem so i have to start living living my life every day with gratitude with compassion am i living here and now what a great opportunity contentment ah did i wake up in the morning yes what a great contentment that existent sad you can continue breathing in breathing out <clears throat> Third obstacle, we get influenced by pain and the pleasure, sorrow and the happiness. We get frustrated. <clears throat> we get easily frustrated with the pain and pleasure. We get obsessed with the pleasure and also the pain. We want to escape the pain. We get obsessed with the pleasure. We don't have a little endurance in our life. My master he used to speak for three to four to five hours. At the age of, in his 80s, without moving the body. After The talk, obviously the body will freeze out. There should be a lot of tingling and the numbness there. And he used to have a bigger smile. Come on my horse. He was referring to the body. Get up now. Walk. Set yourself right. Not influenced by the discomfort, pain and reaction either in the body, in relationship. Not to be swayed by them. That is not the rule of a right intellect. That is not the rule of the awakened intellect. Third obstacle. Tell me, write to me, which of barrier, which obstacle is deeper in you. So intellect will be disturbed, it corrupted. Intellect remains with us as long as balance and equanimity is there, endurance is there. When, when intellect accepts what is wrong, when intellect accepts what is wrong outside, I know I need not to be angry, I need not to be reactive. I need not to crave. I need not to get obsessed. Do you see the difference? What the heck you have done wrong? Come on. I, my intellect knows you have done wrong. Why should I do wrong? <laughs> Into third. Not to be dictated, influenced by, by easy things. Fourth one. Fourth obstacle, I see the entire world, my intellect means, I, when I say I see, my intellect sees the world is full of dualities, opposing forces, when we live our life, we are bound to have favorable, unfavorable circumstances and conditions. You use the, this cloth after two or three days or even the single day, it becomes dirty. What is pure in the world becomes impure. What you like in the world becomes, creates a disliking. What gives you pain gives you the pleasure. The world of duality is the opposing forces. That is the nature of the world, but that is not the nature of my intellect. Why should I get influenced by that? In the life, day-to-day -day living, 
we will find good people, we'll find bad people, we'll find people with whom we have compassion, we'll find people whom our intellect wants to be friendly with, we want people who are sinful. This is the nature of the world. You cannot change it. So when I cannot change this nature of the world, I should change my intellect. Hey, intellect, not get influenced and dictated by those dualities. Never be influenced by those dualities and the opposing forces. That is the very nature of the world. The pain is here in front of me. The cause of the pain is here in front of me. Intellect, maintain the state of equanimity. Realize pain is there outside, not inside. I will introduce those principles on which these things are based on gradually. And the greatest barrier in the problem or ignorance in the intellect or hindrance in the intellect is non-thinking. My son is, so I need not to think. Why not? Why shouldn't I take a right decision? No, 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 he is my son, so I need not to think. He is my honey, I need not to think. And when you are not thinking, honey creates a reaction and doing the wrong thing and it is in uh, the intellect is influenced then you get upset why not so we take everything for granted with the near and the dear ones without thinking without using your intellect if i act if i speak it will definitely make me crazy. No, no, I, I do think, no, I think habitually. Will you eat anything I offer? You will say it depends. So it means you have started thinking. I will do everything to my son, whatever it takes. No. Let me see what he does, how he does. I should not fall down in my own eyes. Intellect starts blaming. You see, I have helped this guy so many times and this guy is still doing the same. I have to hold back. I have to start thinking, do the right thinking. Non-thinking is a great problem in our human life. I will kill you. What the hell you have done to me? Nobody can do anything to me. Let me remain calm. Think of it. It is the mind with the problem says, soulmate, I love you forever. Then married, now you are my honey. And now you are my husband and wife. They always have a problem. I did not recognize the first three factors. It lands up in divorce. We have to work on the intellect. Our master speaks of Janati. First to know it, I wake up in the morning, I know, thank you God. Or whatever, if you believe in God, thanks God, I am still alive, is it not a great level of contentment, peace and happiness for me. How can I know I have a pain if I don't live? Yes, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. 
So first is the knowledge in the intellect of anything, of everything, including the real self. Then desire. Now today, what we understood, the knowledge in the intellect, the real self is there. It is independent. It is self-existent. It is independent of anything. The pain and the pleasure, the duality and a conflict, discontentment and the reaction can never touch my real self. I have to know it. I have to discover it. How you discover, I have to desire it. So there should be a right desire followed by the practice. Practice means to act on it. Now go reverse manner. I act without the right knowledge. I am bound to react. I am bound to be in pain and happiness. Instantly I become aware intellect. You just address, you know, hey intellect, my son has come. You are in peace and smiling. Wonderful to be the mother of a son, to be a father of the son, to be the son of a father, to be the daughter of a son, to be a friend, friend, to be a friend, friendliness, to be father, collective law of the society. See that? Instantly, so if you act habitually without being aware in the intellect, problem is bound to come in your life. So our goal today has been to refine, sh allow the intellect to shine with the wisdom of the Eastern wisdom of the principles so that we can take a step further how you start living that life all the time. Thank you, my friend.